does that play into what you call the EMC fire triangle at all? Do you want to, you want to talk about that a little bit and and just how basically give techniques for people you know to who are facing these types of issues? Yeah, absolutely. So w there's a thing I call the EMC fire triangle, and that is. Um, the idea that a lot of us learned as kids that to have a fire, you need three things. Uh, you need fuel, and you need oxygen, and you need a heat source. And if you can take away one of those things, you've put out the fire. So you can like smother it with a blanket, and that takes away the oxygen, or you can you know, pour water on it, that essentially takes away the heat. To have an EMC problem, you need three things. Uh, you need a noisy source, a sensitive victim, and a coupling path between them. And that coupling path can either be radiated, or it can be, um, you know, conducted when you've got a lot of stuff hanging off the same power bus. Um, to me, the really helpful thing about thinking about it that way is it always gives you multiple avenues to attack a problem. And that's especially valuable when um, you're in a situation, again, you know, like a vehicle prototype already exists, right? They're testing it, they're, they're getting ready to launch. And so you're like, okay, there's an EMC problem, I've identified the source, can I add filtering to just make the source quieter? No, oh my god, that would require a respin and it'll cost a billion dollars and it'll take two years and, and find another way to fix it, right? Okay, well I know what the victim is, can I like throw some ferrites on it, can I put some shielding around the, the, the victim? Oh my god, that would add $20 per car, you know, the whole company will go out of business, find another way to fix it. Uh, so then you can try, maybe try and attack the, the coupling path or, or what have you. you. It gives you lots of avenues um, into a problem right. once you've identified those three elements, um, which again is, is really good because pretty much every time I was uh, troubleshooting in the automotive industry, it usually took about five tries before I could find a solution that fixed the problem and was acceptable to the program. <laughs> Oh, that's great. No, that makes a lot of sense. I really like how you broke that down and the thought process behind it. And I can see how this could be very fun to like find, find solutions to these problems. It